Well, week nine is in the books. Um, great week in the college football. A lot of upsets and surprises. And then the great games, of course. Let's turn this down. But, um, so I, a lot of things in the NFL, too. So I want to come on here and talk about it. Um, yeah, in this college football video. So we'll do that first and then the NFL video. Uh, yeah. First thing I'm going to talk about it um, today is we're going to get it out the way because I know a lot of people are going to get mad if I talk about this, but I, I can't. There's no way I can possibly sugarcoat it anymore. Uh, I know most people on here are Alabama fans, and I try to be as soft as I can on them possible because I don't want to lose my fans. There's no way I can sugarcoat it anymore. Uh, after forms yesterday, I have to say it straight up. There's no, you're, you're not... You're not a great team. Uh, I'm sorry. You're not a great team. Uh, I have to say it straight up. You're, you're not a great team. I, there's nothing on Alabama that concerns me. I, I'm sorry. I have to let it out. And there's no way they're beating Georgia. The, the only way they're going to beat Georgia is how any other team can possibly beat Georgia. A miracle upset. I mean, I, I, there's no possible way I can... I can, like, cover it up and try to um, try to be nice and, you know, all that. I try to do those things, but I, I can't sugarcoat it anymore. I, I'm sorry. You're not a very good team. You're 8-1. and one. You'll be ranked 2 next week. Why? Because of what you did in the past. I don't believe in the Alabama bias and conspiracy theories, but I do believe in the fact that they are ranked 2 because of what they did in the past. I think that's 100% because I don't see a, a possible way how you could put this team at number two uh, for what they've done. Well, you, you, maybe you can, but especially not last week versus Michigan, Michigan State. Um, if Michigan State weren't to lose this coming Saturday, their resume is better than you. I'd put them at two. But you have to drop a team back a little bit after. I mean, you can't move a team up or keep them sane after a loss. I mean, you, you can't do that. So you got to drop Michigan State, obviously. Oklahoma, I'll, I'll put you over Oklahoma. Um, Cincy, I'll put you over Cincy. Oregon, I'll put you over Oregon. But look, you're, you're not. There's no – tell me of a straight face that this Alabama team is the same as whatever. It's the same as the past. It's not. Now, I wanted to get that quick segment over with because I know a lot of people are going to be mad, but I can't sugarcoat it. I have to let it out. You're not a very good team. Moving on to Michigan State. I mean, I, I have one more thing to say about Alabama. Alabama is basically the same as Oklahoma and Cincinnati when it comes to struggle wins. You struggle versus Florida. Struggle versus Tennessee. Str uh, three and a half quarters, at least. You struggle versus uh, LSU. Struggle versus a or you lost to a Texas A&M team. Uh, them propping up Mississippi State because you blew them out. No. No. <laughs> Moving on to Michigan State. Okay, Michigan State, you lost yesterday. Um, no excuses for you losing yesterday. That was, and but at the same time, it. It was the number one upset on everyone's board. Emotional win, but but here's what you have to do. Beat Ohio State. Uh, win the Big Ten title, which I don't think that's very hard, considering what we're seeing on the West. And, and then you're in the playoffs. Um, it, I, I'm in the belief that any conference champion – Big Ten team is getting in, in the East at least, even if they're two losses. I, I really think their uh, East champion is guaranteed to get in. Now, if there's a two-loss West team, see, I don't think they'll get in. But I think a two-loss East team will, but two losses, what? Not two losses. But, yeah, that's what y'all got to do. Now, do y'all think you can beat Ohio State? Yes, for sure, 100%. Uh, but you got to beat Penn State as well, which I also think you can do. 
Oh, easily. I, I think you're favored that game. The thing about Penn State is that your strength is going against their strength. Uh, they have a great run defense. You have a great uh, run offense. That's what you do. Uh, Ohio State, your strength is against their weakness. So, you know, it, it's kind of like that. Seems like Purdue's exposed your weakness, though. Ohio State's strength, their passing offense, is against your weakness, your pass defense. So, yeah, it's kind of like strength versus weakness because your run offense is against Ohio State, the run defense, which is their worst part. Uh, Ohio State's tackling is horrible. Um, in terms of where they need to be at stopping the run, they're not bad at but they're horrible at tackling. They might be one of the worst. They're the worst tackling team I've seen that's in the top five and has a chance at the playoffs since Oklahoma in 2017. Hell, and trust me, they were bad. And honestly, they're worse than this Ohio State team on defense. Elite and, and tackling, but they're, it, it's a comparison. Do I think you can, you're going to beat Ohio State? Ah. Uh, See, I don't know about that. Uh, it's hard to think about, but for now, I think it's 50 50. I'm going to say no. Ohio State just. They've dominated the Big Ten. I don't see how it changes. And your pass team's got exposed. Ohio State probably going to do the same. So that's, that's, I think they'll beat you. But I definitely think you have a shot. Moving on from Michigan State, though. Ohio State, another struggle win. I, I just. I basically just mentioned to you about Michigan State. You are what you are. If you played Oregon again, I think you beat them, but. Don't got much to say about Ohio State. Really don't. Oklahoma, they're by a week, so. Yeah. Cincinnati, yeah, you're out of the playoffs. Um, there's no, and there's nothing you can do to get back in the playoffs. Um, the only way you're getting back in the playoffs is if Oregon loses again. Oklahoma, I, I think they'd have to lose. They're probably going to have to lose twice. Alabama's going to lose again. We know that. I, I'm tired of sugarcoating it. That might be your only shot, but there's nothing you can... You don't control your own destiny anymore is what I'm saying. You don't choose whether you go to the playoffs or not. You don't control your own destiny. Uh, you've blown it. Uh, struggle versus Navy, Tulane, and Tulsa. And more struggles earlier in the year. The only good game you've played all year is really Notre Dame. And honestly, if they played you again, Notre Dame would win. So... <laughs> It's not taking any of anything. Anyway, and thanks for beating Notre Dame, by the way. Now we don't have to see the frauds back in the playoffs. So you know what Notre Dame would do if they make the playoffs. But, um, yeah. So thanks for saving college football, for kicking Notre Dame out of the playoffs, and once again taking yourself out of the playoffs. Hope we can get some more competitive games. So, who, who am I kidding? Harry plays Georgia. It's going to get their lights. Taken out of them on defense. Uh, but that's all the top teams I got to talk about. Uh, after that, I'm going to talk about the big game, Texas a and versus Auburn. I'm so happy Texas A&M won. And the reason why is I'm so tired of hearing the 11-2 Auburn. They still have a chance. Just beat A&M. Beat Mississippi State if they haven't played them already. Whatever. Or, yeah, beat Mississippi State next week because that's our game. Uh, beat Alabama. Beat Georgia. It's just so frustrating. Guess what? Yeah, Auburn does the same thing every year of that two-loss crap. Well, we beat this team. We beat this team. We might beat this team. And we win the yes. Yeah, we're getting it. I'm so tired. It's the Auburn thing. They, they, they do that 
stupid stuff every year. And it's so tiring. So thank you, Texas a and for shutting them up. Hey, you know what's the funniest thing? I'm still hearing Auburn three losses. Even though they have three losses saying, we still have a chance. Good Lord. So it still doesn't really shut them up. But it shut up, let's say, 80% of the fans. <sighs> All right. Well, that's a big game. Uh, in terms of Texas a and this team, this team is a good. They're a good team. They're a good team. And honestly, I'm beginning to think that they're a better team than Alabama. They're they're um they should have won by more than three versus Alabama. First of all, um, second of all, they're 2007 Georgia. I see a comparison with them and Texas a and Two losses early, it would have destroyed your season, destroyed Georgia's season in 2007 as well. Now you're rallying and getting better. Now you're the one of the, you're a great team, man. I don't even know if A and M's a great team. They they're not the 07 Georgia level, but they they're sure three quarters of it. They're they're sneaking up. But one good one good thing about A and M is if you went out, which you know that's that's a big if. Cause you play Ole Miss. That's always. Tricky, and then you play LSU, which Edo's always good in big games. So, um, yeah, just just like Alabama. That's a big if. I think the harder part is that Alabama losing their game. While they're not a very good team, they're still better than the rest of their teams. They're playing this uh, schedule. Uh, they're better than Auburn. They're better than New Mexico State, who they're playing next Saturday. So no upset alert there. They're 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 better than Arkansas. So it's just like they'll stay two until uh after the Atlanta game. I'll say that after they in Atlanta. You know you know what I'm saying. <sighs> we got more to talk about though. Tennessee. Or uh, uh, Wake Forest, man. I skipped them. Wake, I forgot to talk about Wake Forest. Yeah, it's simple. Your season's over. <clears throat> I don't see a way a, two, a one loss ACC team gets in. Now every ACC team is one loss. You're out. And thank you for losing as well. Because you know what I'm tired of hearing? I am so sick. Of, I'm so sick of hearing who get in between Wake Forest and Cincinnati. Well, now they're both out, so. Or at least Cincinnati, I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, they're out, but I guess they didn't lose yet. That's a question. Will Cincinnati lose? That becomes a question more than a, yeah, they'll go undefeated type of thing. I mean, I... I They've really been struggling. It, they they might lose. They just might. And it might be the SMU. So. So what since he did just about. I think they're on the smidge of elimination. Honestly, I think they already are. But I think we'll, a loss and it's done. It's always been a loss and they're done. But especially now. Struggling over here. Let's talk about Kentucky and Tennessee. Kentucky.
You thought you were making the playoffs. You see, remember two weeks ago when we were talking about 11-1 Kentucky and how they can make the playoffs? Well, you've blown that. And you've blown it twice. Your New Year's Six Bowl chances. You know what? Kentucky was guaranteed to make a New Year's Six Bowl. Going 11-1. They would have. Now they lost two more games. 9-3. And, and you're in the SEC East. I mean, 9-3 and three SEC West teams are going to get over you. Uh, like non-playoff New Year's Six ball games, I can name SEC teams that will get in over you. You've ruined those chances. You're going to a regular bowl game now. Alabama's getting over you because <laughs> they're not making the playoffs. A&M would definitely get over you. Uh, they, shoot, A&M might get over Alabama. Ole Miss, see, I, they, if they finish three losses, I think they would. This um, Auburn, they might, especially if they beat Bama. Those four teams, if they finish with three losses or less, they're one hundred percent getting over you. And those, not all four of those teams are getting in. Alabama Raiders, but I mean, there's just. Low, you're make you're going a regular bowl game. I'm sorry. Alabama will go to the well. A and M might go to the Sugar Bowl. I don't know. I don't know how they'll decide that. Will they go head to head or they go for the best lot? I think they'll go with A and M, especially because they beat Alabama. I'd hope they will. And then they so A and M to the Sugar Bowl, Alabama to the Cotton Bowl or whatever. Shoot, no, Cotton Bowl is playoff bowl. Uh, they'll go to the. Uh, I don't even know Chick Fil A ball or something. Just, it's a random New Year's Six ball game. I think uh, Ole Miss will get sprinkled in there, and that'll be it. All right, but we got that, and then well, it for the SEC teams. Uh, they'll be well, Wake Forest will go to a New Year's Six ball. Uh, Michigan State or Ohio State or Michigan. Two two of those teams are going to a New Year's Six. Penn State, I think they're in the – well, Uncle Lou said the same thing. I think they're in the spoiler role. What I mean by that is that they can spoil Michigan or Michigan State's season. Uh, they've already played Ohio State, so that won't happen. Will they – I don't know. Uh, it, it, it'll be hard to tell me that Penn State's going to lose all three of those games. I think they'll get Michigan or Michigan State. You, you can't tell me Penn State's finishing 7-5. That's just not. That's not going to happen. Um, now, who will it be? Well, Michigan still technically is a shot. Um, all they need is they need Ohio State to beat Michigan State. Yeah. And then they need to... The, and then they... And I, I know this state hasn't been in a while. They need to beat the Ohio State Buckeyes. They need to. They. They need to beat the Ohio State Buckeyes. And I know it's been a while. If they do that, well, then I, I don't know what happened. Well, that's a three-way tie because Ohio State beats Michigan State, Michigan. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, what, all right, all right what, this is what Michigan needs. They need Michigan State to lose to Penn State or somebody else. They beat Ohio State. Ohio State beats Penn, Michigan State. Well, that's all they need. They, that's all they need. They need Ohio State to beat Michigan State to give them two conference losses. They need to uh, beat Ohio State. And they'll, yeah, so that's how it will work. <laughs> I 
Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, let's talk about that. We need to talk about that next. Uh, yeah, Florida, and I should make a separate video on this. Why, why add on to it? I think it's going to be the last thing I talk about, though. Is there really anything else to talk about? Oregon won. Nothing else to talk about, really. I've, I've spit it all out. Especially my Alabama rant beginning. Yeah. Hey, 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 let's praise Dan Mullen, though, for actually firing uh, this uh, clown, Todd Grantham. He has a loyalty issue or right? like something. He won't move on from people. Like, for example, he wouldn't move on from Emory Jones. He won't move on from Todd Grantham. If you don't know, Todd Grantham's been his defense corner even at Mississippi State. So, that's what he is. He doesn't want to move on from people. And, oh, yeah, by the way, Anthony Richardson, he ain't no better than uh, Emory Jones. So, And they fired their own line coach, which, not of everybody, really. He's good when he has the talent, but when he has to get talent himself, he folds, and that's what's happening now. He doesn't have the talent. He was good with Urban Myers players. He was good with Jim McQueen's players. But he's horrible with his own players. And that's that's what it is. Slim John would be happy. I know that. Linebacker coach to call defense. Christian, and the special teams assistant coach will move on the field. 99, I don't know about that. Florida's giving up. I think they'll lose to Missouri and Florida State. They'll finish 5-7. and seven. You can't tell me that this team who's given up completely is beating another Power 5 team. Um, and this isn't taking anything away from South Carolina, but Florida, they gave up, man. They, Let's just be honest. I'm, I'm sorry. They gave up. And they were... And it really surprises me. Oh, yeah. By the way, this is a team that Alabama struggled with. Well, let's keep in mind that this team beat Tennessee and almost beat Kentucky. Yeah, right. That's all I got to say. Um, what? Wrecking crew... <laughs> Oh, don't start this. Texas A&M played, let up 38 points to Alabama, and I call them the wrecking crew. De oh, Lord. George is the wrecking crew defense. But what, what was George's name at? a and defense is great, though. I'll give them credit. But wrecking crew, that's a high standard. That's, they don't have a Lawrence Taylor. Yeah. That's all I got to say. You know what else I got to say? George is the best team in the country, and it's not close. It never will be close. You don't wake up with any issues. All-time great defense. We don't even need an offense, but it helps. You know, George is perfect at every position besides quarterback. The only reason why they're not perfect at quarterback is because their starting QB is injured. Other than that, they're literally perfect. I, I don't even like. There, there's nothing you can. I wonder how well this defense will do against the uh, 2019 LSU defense. 2020 Alabama defense, probably pretty good. Is Mac Jones? All Alabama QBs have folded under pressure. Like this isn't just a Bryce Young thing. Mac Jones, Tua, they all fold folded under pressure. The only guy who didn't was Jalen Hurts, which I even this pressure. But everybody else, Jake Coker, AJ McCarron, whatever, fall under pressure. That's all they are. Thank you for watching. Sorry, Alabama. For that. Peace and go dogs. Can't forget, boy.
Oh, yeah, that Washington coach, by the way. Mm. 1980. National champion. It's about to be 21. 21, though. So, we'll get on that. So, you even got the scores in the back. Georgia. Undefeated, just like this year. Ain't gonna stay undefeated. There's, and there's nothing y'all can do about it. They, they, they. What I do think about this season, though, there's a wider gap between the best team and everybody else. Unlike the other teams, there are still people, like the LSU year, you still had people talking about Ohio State and Clemson. Uh, even the Alabama year, you should shoot, you had people talking about Ohio State and Clemson again. This year's all Georgia. That's the difference. And it's going to stay. Sorry, bonus. Alabama, Texas. Alright. Peace and good ups. Bye bye. For real this time.